The Common Application, informally known as the Common App, is an undergraduate college admission portal that applicants may use to apply to more than 900 member colleges and universities in the USA, including Ivy League and elite colleges. In the Common App, the Common App essay is generally considered the most difficult part. But the sooner you get familiar with the different college prompts, the easier it will be when you actually start writing the process. Without college essays, colleges would be limited to grades, class rank and test scores to make their admission decisions. Given that so many students with strong numbers apply to college each year, it's important for your child to use the essays to develop a stellar application in order to highlight their X factor and specialities. So, why is college essay such a big deal? What are the things to keep in mind while working on the common app essays? How to approach the common app essay writing? How to tackle the individual common app essay prompts? In a two-part video series, Ruchi Saran will walk you through the entire process. So, watch till the end. The essay is the only place where your application comes to life and you have a chance to talk to the college and impress them or you touch them through your story, right? Tell them something about yourself which is not mentioned anywhere in the application. All colleges can read your common app essay. So do not mention any college names in that. For example, if you want to go to UIUC or Pomona, do not mention it's your dream to go there and it's a great campus because other colleges are reading that also. You know, do not say I enjoy playing tennis and uh, won many awards for my school or district because uh, that just sounds like your resume. It doesn't help you at all. You know, uh, the common app essay word range is 250 to 650 words, a bit of advice here. Do not write 251 words and you stop as it shows like you have nothing to say about yourself and uh, it comes out like, you know, you're not sure what you want to do. But at the same time, don't write 650 words just to fill up the pages, you know, make every word count. Try to keep it within 625 to 645 words and always give a title to your essay. That is really important. Your essay should reflect your personality and your soft skills. Are you funny, hardworking, sincere, empathetic? Are you a leader? Are you compassionate? You know, do you have any family values and so on? Be patient while writing as the first draft will not be your final essay. I can guarantee you that. It requires a lot of edit rounds. In fact, I was working with a student uh, who just could not express himself and we did 10 rounds of editing. And finally, his personality, his values and the passion for his work came out in his essay, which was unique to him only. I'll give you an example of writing so you get to know what I'm talking about. So instead of saying, I worked all night on my project, as talent can get you far, but hard work can get you anywhere. You know, so instead of saying that, you, you say, it was 3 a.m. and my brain was telling me to stop because I had been up for 72 hours but my heart would not listen. Now you see how the opening line is creating drama, suspense, and now the reader wants to know more. Another student wrote, as I leave, I smile, knowing very well that I would be back again, this time to see my own inventions on exhibit. And this shows how st the student dreams of having his inventions displayed at NASA. So now there are different ways one can approach the common app prompt. There is no right way or the wrong way. It, whatever works with you or the counselor you're working with. I'll share two ways you know you can approach the common app prompts. So first you make a list of all the activities you have done and then you identify them which one is closer to you and why. Is there a value tied to it and why is it such a significant part of your life? And when I say activity, I don't mean classes or clubs. It could be cooking with your grandmother or as simple as reading the daily newspaper or delivering pizza in your neighborhood. Anything which really matters to you. It's all about you, you know. Or you can read the prompts one by one 
and write down what comes to your mind. No long sentences or paragraphs, but just points. And then you see which one prompt resonates best with your values. We hope you liked this video. Got any queries? Please post them in the comments section. We would be happy to answer them. In our next video, we will cover how to tackle the 7 common app essay prompts for 2021-2022 admission cycle. Stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.